The comic book is the creation of Champaign, Illinois artist and writer Hart Fisher. If it is dicey subject matter and some people might be hurt by it, it's a cold, cruel world. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Entertainment Tonight. Mary Hart has the day off. I'm John Tesh. And I'm Lisa Gibbons. Thanks for being with us. The macabre exploits of serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer, now serving 15 consecutive life sentences for 15 murders, are being told in a comic book. The families of his victims are not amused. It may be a comic book, but the so-called unauthorized biography of a serial killer is anything but funny. Jeffrey Dahmer admits he killed at least 17 young men and boys, many of them gay. And his grotesque crime spree also involved cannibalism and necrophilia. The comic book is the creation of Champaign, Illinois artist and writer Hart Fisher. If it is dicey subject matter and some people might be hurt by it, it's a cold, cruel world. The families of the victims say they're hurt by the book and they've staged angry protest rallies in Milwaukee where Dahmer and many of the victims lived. By the grace of God, we tried to go on with our lives. How can we heal when someone like this is publishing this kind of filth? Family counselor Jeanetta Robinson organized the rallies. We didn't think no human being would stoop so low as to reduce the pain and suffering and hurt of the death of a loved one to a comic book. This is Tony right here. This is Tony. Shirley Hughes has seen the death of her son Tony played out in the pages of the comic book. If anybody have any feelings or sympathy for the family, I beg you not to buy it because it is, it's really degrading and it hurts bad. Dorothy Strother's 17-year-old son Curtis was also murdered by Dahmer. We're hurting here, and this is not helping any. It's bringing back, it's bringing back memories that we've been trying to get rid of. This Jeffrey Dahmer book is very inoffensive. It's a very strict PG-13 retelling of events. Uh, I could have gone the other way. It could have been a gross-out, gore-out, uh, sell-out book, but it wasn't. I tried to handle it as tastefully as I could. But to Catherine Lacey, whose son was a victim, the book is anything but tasteful. It's really uh, filled to me. And I really don't want that comic book to even hit the shelf. The cover cautions the book is for mature readers, but inside it brags it's one sick mother of a comic. Hart Fisher says he's within his rights to publish it. Why is everybody coming down on me? This little guy from this little town in Illinois is trying to make a buck, drawing and, and writing the books he wants to do. Nobody forces me to do these books. Uh, then again, nobody's going to tell me I can't do them. The movie rights to a book about the Jeffrey Dahmer case have been advertised in Hollywood trade papers, and there's also a screenplay based on Dahmer's confession.